you see, I have this gun stuff in my mouth. I have this gun stopper, and I'm go going to see if I can bite it. Oh no, I think I broke my teeth. Okay, whatever, enjoy the video. There are literally tens of thousands of YouTube channels out there. Since YouTube first started in 2005, people have been uploading videos all the time. But I'm not here to talk about the success of YouTube. I'm here to talk about my friend and how he voted and motivated me to create my own YouTube channel. So my friend, Pinata Gamer, no, that's not his real name. His real name is Eduardo. And he has a YouTube channel that it was a few older months older than me. I will leave a link in the description to his channel for you guys if you like. Okay, so he loved to talk about his YouTube channel. He really did. He talked to about his YouTube channel and how successful it was and he would show me his videos. And then I thought, hey, what if I had a YouTube channel? But then I thought, nah, it would be too much work. But then the thought of making a YouTube channel kept popping up and I thought, hmm, maybe I should make a YouTube channel. So I thought, I started thinking of names for my YouTube channel and what I should do with it. Finally, a sudden thought came to my head uh, that I should make math videos, even though I'm not really good at math. And most people who do make math videos or any other educational channels have a special degree. But at the same time, I wanted to make gaming videos, so I made a YouTube channel that was called Math and Gaming for You, in which I would make make math and gaming videos. And if you're one of the early YouTube subscribers that I had, you would know this. And so I made made a couple of videos. By a couple of videos, I mean three math videos and four gaming videos, which were all like Minecraft videos. It was then that I realized that I shouldn't have made a math channel because, like I said before, I'm not that good at math. And also, I didn't want a math channel anymore. Anymore. I thought I was thinking of creating a new YouTube channel, but I, then I realized if I delete this channel, I would lose all of my subscribers. And then uh, that would be a really big loss. So instead, I just decided to rename my channel something that changed. No. So I instead I decided to rename my channel something, so I changed the channel name to other names, such as Tiger Gaming, Tiger Gamer, Super Gamer, because my Xbox Live Gamer tag is Super Gamer 1999. So I kept on changing my name because I couldn't find myself in the search results. Now that's a really big problem when people try to search for your channel. I then proceeded to make videos of different Flash games. I found and a new game I found that was called that was free to play it was called Counter-Strike Nexon Zombies I also made videos about that game finally all of a sudden I made a crazy name based off the word sensational I literally combined sensational and game and removed the scent to make game sensational I was so proud of myself for making a name that actually sounded pretty nice even though it's a pretty long name so now, here I am making YouTube videos, having lots of fun. If anyone is watching this video right now, you should do YouTube. It's really, it's a really rewarding and joyful experience. So yeah, make sure you check out my friend's channel, P P Pinata Gamer. It would be really nice if you subscribe to him. Okay, so I think that should be it. Be nice to your friends, don't go knocking on random strangers' houses, don't be a jerk, don't eat hot Cheetos, click it or tick it, and yeah, this is me, Game Station. Oh, make sure to leave a, a like, comment, or even subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Adios.